Jamaica has become one big Netflix series. The robberies happens like a script straight out of Hollywood movies. And today is no different. I call today Old People Saturday. So I woke up this morning and the first news that greet me on Facebook is a story of a 79-year-old man who chopped off his 72-year-old wife's head in Bog Walk St. Catherine. And when I say chop off, I don't mean just cut her neck. I mean the head the one side and her body the one side, straight up. And just when I thought that the news could not get any worse, I heard that gunmen robbed an 80 year old woman of $24 million. And it is said that this old woman is the caretaker of a gas station. When I say caretaker, I mean she cleaned the gas station. And she went to do her business at about 5.30 this morning. The gunman them run up on her, dig down the place, find the $24 million and made off with the money. And this had the makings of an inside job. The same workers, them who took out the money last night and put it in at the safe, and them same one till the gunman them where to find the money. So you see, the crime culture in Jamaica is so rampant. These criminals just need an inside man. Once they find an inside man, it is not hard to bribe that inside man because the inside man now get no good pay. So even if the person get $4 million out of this, they are sitting pretty. And persons who work in these organizations that handles big money, I'm talking about gas stations, I'm talking about places like Western Union, MoneyGram, and all them places that we deal with remittances, and bank and them places there, them not safe. Because the very same co-worker who laugh and talk with them has set up the company to be robbed. And they don't care who die in the process. All they care about is their portion of the loot. And to make matters even worse, shortly after this robbery took place, a remittance outlet in St. Elizabeth was robbed of $1 million. So you see, these guys are on a robbery spree because they robbed $8 million in a mandible yesterday and $1 million down at St. Elizabeth. No, they're not going to stop. These businesses that handle large amount of cash daily need to invest in some high-tech security systems. Or these robbers are not going to stop. Once the persons who work there find the loophole and see that there's a loophole, they are going to tell their scammers, aka robbers, how they can come in and thief the money because these scammers have to maintain their lavish lifestyle.